peripheral vision is a great thing to have. Could you have a, could you have a peripheral palate? Peripheral peripheral palate? You know, like way out here, I taste things. <laughs> I guess we do. I, 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 we, I taste things. We taste all things the time. everywhere. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't either. What I do know, though. <laughs> what do you know? I do know that we have another pumpkin beer that I have not told you about. Correct. You don't know what it is. You don't know the style. You don't know the brewery this time. Okay. Correct. True. Are all these things correct. These are all correct. I'm like a magician. I'm telling you everything. <laughs> correct. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, is this correct? Do you see any wires over here? Do you see this? Do you see whatever? Like, like, no, no. The answer is no to all. The answer things. is no. All right. I thought this one sounded very unique. We are always on the lookout for new pumpkin beers, and it gets, even though there are so many out there, it does get a little harder to find every year because we have had a lot of them. Yes, yeah, so we've covered. Uh, they are all in the archives at aboutbeverages.com or on YouTube if you want to check those out, and. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, well, the only thing we're missing right now, we're missing something that would add a little more pumpkin kind of flavor to the whole place. Oh, there we go. There we are. Now we are totally ready to try another pumpkin beer for this Give It A Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com And the beverage that we are about today is making its way over. And it is the Nitro Fall Seasonal Pumpkin Spice Latte. That looks like, is that Breckenridge? It is Breckenridge, Breckenridge Brewery. Brewery. Okay, yep. why well, haven't had a... It is uh, Breckenridge, okay. 100%. Oh my gosh. 100% Breckenridge. I have not uh, had a Breckenridge beer in a long time. I have not either. We used to like their vanilla porter a long time that's, ago. Yes, that's that true. They've had some other uh, They've had a couple others liked. here and there that I know that we yeah. have liked, but I saw this in a can, and at first I kind of was, it was one of those like, I was like, Nitro, hmm, okay. what would that add to? I'm like... All right, Breckenridge, you've won me over this. All right. I guess they actually have a, a whole series of beers that they wind up putting on Nitro, and this just happens to be one of them. They do this seasonal. Okay. So uh, it is 5.5%, uh, 11 IBUs, so low on all of those places. Nothing nothing too crazy. But I just thought that sounded too weird to pass up, of all the other things we've had. it, And it's a stout. It is actually a stout. That is the other thing. It does not reveal on the can. Uh, stout. It is a stout. So okay. I thought, well, that'll be nice, because we've done a bunch of pumpkin <clears throat> ales. So... Cool. No, it's um, good, if you good just, to try uh, a new oh. style. Wait. It's not. Yeah. Uh, oh, mm, wait. I don't see uh, the beer. Oh, we know. Gosh darn it. He's probably. Mm, it's somewhere out here somewhere. I, uh, there it is. There he is. Uh, okay. Yeah. He's got it. <laughs> now, the uh, I did find actually the correct picture of the can that we have there um, for the background graphic, but... On the website, it is a completely different picture. So I'm not sure which one's the newer version or the older version. I don't know. But oh, okay. I see. Yeah. yeah. See how it's kind of right. different? Right, okay. right. Yeah. So I don't know what's like, if that's like the updated one and they have that on the site or that's huh. the older. I would think that'd be the updated one because it looks a lot nicer. So, the, all right. The We're grabbing this back from Phil. The one that's have, on the site? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I like the way that one looks better than, wow, Nitro on the go. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So this one, uh, nitrogen charged, pumpkin coffee stout. So that kind of sounded interesting. Coffee? Um, yeah, actually, this one does. Latte. I to mention that. Yeah, okay. Well, latte. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, Spice latte. Chill. We did that. We got to open and wait five seconds, and then we pour. No glass, no problem. Drink it straight from the can. Do we have to pour hard? It doesn't mention that on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to. I won't bite. Fate. Hard. Hard. All right. We're going to. One, one thousand. One, two. Do count along with us. Four, five. All right, and pour. Yeah, wasn't it the left hand nitro? They yeah. used to come in the bottles, right? They basically yeah, they just, just open, it, turn it upside down. Boy, you turn me inside out. That looks nitro-y. Yeah, I think if I'd have poured it, obviously all in one glass, you'd have gotten more of the cool yeah uh, effect. Yeah, that we kind of missed out on. I'm trying to hear. I thought I heard something in here. I thought maybe there was like a nitro widget. Oh, the yeah. There's a little Gosh, does, does Guinness even do those bottles anymore with those little... I don't know. I know. They, they're, do their cans probably still have the little ping pong ball in there? The cans probably still do, yeah. I think. But uh, yeah, but yeah, so I thought this sounded really interesting. Cool. Hadn't had anything from Breckenridge in a while. I was like, let's let's go on a limb. We've had a lot of pumpkin ales. Let's, let's, go, let's go to the stout. No, that was um, a good... Uh, definitely a, a, something different and a good choice to try. It is definitely dark. I would say very dark brown. It looks pretty black in the picture there, but I'd say it's a little more a little more brown. It's funny how the last one we had looked like this on the screen. 
<laughs> it wasn't this dark. It pretty much looked like this. No. I think so. No, not even close. I think it I can't like wait this. till you watch the video back and realize well, it did not look maybe that Well, maybe in maybe in but the what I'm seeing right here, this is that color. Looks that. Even though uh, really in the wasn't. glass? No, on the screen. In the glass on the screen. Not in the glass here. Yeah, cuz it was orange, dark orange, but in this okay. look like that. But yeah. this looks black on the screen. I think I thought the other one looked black on the screen. Go back we and watch the said. other video. Watch it a second time. I'll we watch could, it. We could use the views. I'll watch, watch it. it a second watch time. Watch it again. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's all you got for color. Like it, uh, I think I got a little bit more of the foam there. Yeah. That's probably why mine's yeah. hanging around. I don't know if you swish yours around if you get a little foam back. or. I'm bringing foam back. There you go. Okay. But that looks like very latte-like. <clears throat> yes. All right. Let's go for the aroma. I get slightly old coffee notes. There's a little age, uh, just a little. I wasn't sure if it was the coffee or if I was getting like a little hint of chocolate. And that could be it. It also has almost a cola note to it. Okay. I was giving it the benefit of the doubt, but you might be right because I got... Um, but but it, that, it could be it could be a little bit, just a little chocolate. And cause especially if they're going for the latte there, because I think it, it, is it mentioned on there? It is a milk stout. So they're also going for, so there's going to be like that okay. little, uh, that little note in there as well. So yeah, a little so chocolate. Going I definitely get the, I get a little chocolate, a little coffee. Um, and I do get the spices. They're kind of the third, uh, they're the third member to take place. Yeah. In, way in the band. down. Yeah. Um, but they're in there and like I said, so, but when I swirl around, I, there is a, a nice little interplay of all those things. I think I, I like that. So they're going for pumpkin spice, coffee, Stout. Milk. Milk stout. So there's there's a lot of things they're trying to hit here. There's a lot of things, okay. and the nitro is trying to smooth them all together. Or gloss over them. Wait. Could be. Okay. All right. I think coffee might be actually the dominant note when I keep going back. That's coffee, what I coffee get. In, it's coffee, a coffee into chocolate. Yeah. And there's something that reminds me of like a... Like a coffee, like a cold, like a uh, like a cold brew. Uh, not a, a a cold brew, a little bit. Maybe that's what I'm picking up on instead of. But it's like it's kind of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's not. It's not bad. It's just and now it's like a little tootsie roll there now. Oh, okay. Just right there. Okay. It's not bad. I'm gonna say something. Say it. It's so smooth. I think smooth. they forgot the pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, I think they forgot to put the pumpkin in here. <laughs> it is crazy. It's just like smooth and drinkable. Right. I, what we kind of got muted versions of, I get even less in the taste. The the chocolate and coffee, coffee and chocolate. Yeah, I get a little bit coffee, which is even more muted than I got in the aroma. Right. I have to work hard to search for the spice. I get a little yeah. bit of like maybe a you know the milk chocolate kind of you know like that kind of milk stout kind of thing. Like, you know, thinking about like, what was the one from uh, Odell had the milk stout, the Lugine oh, milk stout. Lugine. So like, it's kind of, it's, it's not that good. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but like I said, it's not no. that good. Um, no. It doesn't have that kind of milk coming through, like milk chocolate coming through. Um, so it's coffee for me. And then it's just like a smooth, like it's, uh, you know, um, borderline almost, I don't know if the nitrogen is almost making it too smooth. Cause it's almost watery to me. Yeah. Um, and like yeah. I said, unfortunately, I thought, I honestly thought this was going to be like, so with the milk stout and everything else, I thought this was going to be sweet, kind of spicy, a um, little bit of body and, and be smooth. And unfortunately, a couple of things that I thought would really stand out are not barely there, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah. I, I am, I am let down by this. It's um, by, by a lot. I honestly thought we were going to drink this. I was going to like it in a weird way and buy like a four pack of it. Now I, like I said, I'm glad that I tried it, but I would not buy this again. Yeah, it's those pieces are like you said, they're there, dialed back, and they're not really cohesive. No, there's a little, yeah, like you said, there's nothing really to. I mean, the nitro kind of brings them together. What it does, Everything but like is I said, nice it's nice and kinda, smooth. Like nothing, like it's not like things are hitting my but palate in a really here. weird way. And a piece here, yeah, and, a piece and, there. and they're they're all very level. Level's not even the right word because some of them aren't near strong enough, so they can't be level with other things. But in, in their level, in that none of them are like, oh man, the spice really hits me here. But right. everything else is kind of like everything is fairly flat. The coffee part is there, but then the right. steam milk and if you were doing the like I said the spices and Spice. all that, like that does not come through at all. Like it's just just not enough. And I get it. Like I said, 
in the aroma a little bit. We're kind of beating a dead horse here, but yes. like, the, but anyway, yep. Uh, yep. I get it a little bit more in the aroma, like the, as it you yep. know as as I kind of keep going back to that. But like I said, in the flavor, like it just I I don't know. I honestly don't know what they were going for here. Yeah. Um, well, we know what they're going for. It's probably a lot. I think it's taking on a lot. They were, but you think something would be like crazy dominant one way or the other, or they'd go, you know, you th- I, I thought we'd be talking about that, like, oh my gosh, this is too sweet and the spices are too great, like, and right. there's none of that. Like, we're talking about the coffee for the most part, which we think might be a little old, or there's just a chocolate note. We're not quite sure. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know. This is probably the first one of the two that we've had. <laughs> we've had three now, new ones right. this year. This is probably the first one I definitely would say, I, you know, unless you really want a very bland easy drinking stout that is mostly coffee. Right. This might be something for you, but right. if you're actually wanting something that like, yeah, I want to dip my toe in the pumpkin waters and uh, something seasonal. Yeah. And, dip yeah. my, dip my foot in the squash patch. Oh, wow. Know, I'm trying to think of references on the fly. I can only think of so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, this, this just definitely, uh, does not work. Unfortunately. Yeah. This will not be a contender. I could have been a contender. No, this is not a contender. Uh, but hopefully, if you go to the website at aboutbeverages.com and uh, check out maybe some of the other contenders that we have had previous years, uh, you may find something to your liking or something that fits more of the bill of something that is uh, pumpkin laden with some nice spices, some sugar, some sweet, all those kinds of things. Uh, there is lots of good ones to choose from that we have enjoyed over the years. And uh, if you are also in a uh, mood and into subscribing to things, you can head to our YouTube page. <laughs> Uh, and, at, and at that subscribe. place, youtube.com slash about beverages. That's right. Uh, you can subscribe there if you are not able to make it uh, to our live shows that we do. And you can uh, listen, Thursday to old, nights. listen yeah. to old stuff there. Yeah, the live shows are on Thursday nights, 630 yep. Pacific, most Thursdays yes. on twitch.tv slash about beverages. If for some reason, as I am grocery listing all these social media things. If for some reason we are not going to be live or something has changed, the best place to find out where that would have happened is... I would say Twitter. You would be correct. That's right. 100% correct. We will let you know what's going on. Follow us there as well. But as we always say, except maybe not this one, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.